Hello and welcome to another GCN training session. Today we have a longer session, 40 minutes. So this is really going to be one which you can use. We have more time available and get in a really key workout on the bike. If you're kind of just starting out training or maybe you're a little bit new to cycling, I'd recommend you only do this one once a week, make it your kind of key session in the week, recover the day before and the day after because this is a tough session. If you are training regularly and you have good fitness, then I recommend maybe doing this once or twice a week as well as some longer endurance rides because for us all, it's a tough one. Now, the main focus of the session is gonna be an 18 minute ramp effort where we're moving up through the zones, getting progressively harder before a max sprint towards the end. And then we'll have three one minute full gas efforts towards the end of the session to really get the last of our legs and absolutely empty the tanks. So we are joined by some special guests for today's workout. We have Hank, who you, you may all know, and I'm gonna be putting him through his paces today, I tell you. We also have Katie, Max, and Maddie at the back there. I was gonna try and put Max through his paces, but I think he might be uh, making me suffer if I'm honest. <laughs> we'll see about that, Max. <laughs> anyway, into our warm up, and we have a bit of a longer warm up than usual, starting off with three minutes, really easy, getting into the riding, relaxing your back. If you're doing this after a long day at work or school, or you just haven't been on the bike for a while, then make sure you do do a key warm up and get your body moving and into this workout because it will get tough later in the session. So after this three minutes, we're gonna head into two minutes at kind of moderate intensity, just to kind of get the heart rate going and really warm ourselves up for the session. So we'll start that in one minute's time. Looking for a cadence of around 80, 100 RPM. And you know, you just wanting to get your body working and into the session. So start to move up through the gears. We've been pedaling pretty easy to begin with. So Time to start concentrating. Think about what muscles you're using. Activate your glutes, hamstrings, quads. Let's do a few back stretches to begin with. If you'd like to ride out the saddle, move around, get used to your position on the bike and get your mind in focus because as I said, we have a good one for you today. So 30 seconds roughly until we kind of move up through the zones a little bit. So kind of seven out of 10 on the intensity scale, that'll really start to get the heart rate moving. You still wanna be able to kind of have a conversation at this level, but at the same time, you know that you're starting to work. So up through the gears now, and in five seconds, we're gonna move on to a little bit more of a moderate effort. Now, okay, two minutes at this level. Now, it's time to get motivated. Think about what we're gonna do during today's session. This is a tough one and I want everyone to get the most out of this. Enjoy it, have a bit of fun with it and I'll bring you through it because you'll feel great after getting, it, getting through it. I actually used to use this session sometimes, kind of variation on it when I was warming up for time trials. I would kind of not do the max efforts at the end but I would do this ramp session and I found it was a great way to really touch on every zone, every sort of interval intensity and I found my body really warmed up through that ramp session as well. Now we are throwing in those one minute ramp sessions at the end, which as I said before, will really get every last drop of energy out. Oh. Out of the saddle a bit in this effort, if you want, you'll start to feel yourself sweating a bit more than usual. You'll start to feel the heart rate increasing. And this is what you want because don't worry, we'll have a nice, Easy two minutes before we get in to the ramp session. So don't worry about pushing on at this time. Start to feel yourself get a little bit out of breath. And we're gonna push into a one minute effort after this two minutes. Where I kind of want you to sit around, around eight out of 10 where you struggle to hold a conversation if you're on a group ride. Only for a minute. And then we're gonna knock it down for another two minutes easy before we get into the key part of today's workout. So 20 more seconds, then knock it up one or two gears. 15 seconds till the next interval. Oh. Come on. And five, four, three, two, one, and knock it up for a minute. 
in the saddle or out of the saddle. Try and keep your cadence pretty steady, around 80 to 100. You probably feel your legs burn a little bit now as your body warms up. That's normal. Don't worry if you want to push on a bit more, it will help you when you get into the key part of the session. I'm going to talk a bit more about that ramp in our two minute recovery and explain it to you further. But for the moment, just make sure you get your heart rate up here in this one minute effort. 25 seconds to go roughly. Concentrate on your pedaling style. Run the drops if you can. Get used to that position that we're going to be in on the bike. Okay, 10 more seconds at this intensity. Then we're going to knock it back and we have two minutes easy. Five, four, three, two, one. And knock it back down. Nice and easy now for two minutes. 80 to 100 RPM. Get your breathing back under control. Now, about the ramp session we have coming up. So, it's going to be 18 minutes long. And we're going to start off with 14 minutes around seven out of 10 in terms of intensity. So kind of just where you're struggling to hold a conversation, but we're gonna break up that 14 minutes. It's gonna be four minutes, normal cadence, what you feel comfortable with. Then we're gonna do one minute at the same intensity, but really spinning the legs. So you're gonna knock it down a gear, cadence of 110, just max cadence, spin the legs. You don't need to push harder. It's just getting those legs moving faster. We're going to do that twice throughout the 14 minutes. And the final four minutes, we're going to gradually ramp up the intensity and finish with one minute. It's absolutely full gas, okay? So in the last half of this, you're going to feel it. It's going to be tough. But this is what it's all about. Trust me, this is a brilliant session for gaining some fitness. Hank, how are you feeling? Are you ready for this? I'm absolutely pumped for this session. I can't tell you how motivated I feel, motivated I feel. Bit nervous, like it's a long effort, that 18 minute one. But I'm gonna do my best to uh, stick with you, focusing on that cadence, and also focusing on that intensity. If you feel yourself dying off, don't worry, just dig in, really try and push right to the end. The main bulk of that session is that 20 minute piece. So let's, all together, just do our very best. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. We have 15 seconds to go now. Oh, gosh. Till this ramp goes, so get ready. Oh, my gosh. Crept okay. up on us, mate. Yeah, sorry. Five seconds to go now. Four, three, two, one, and push on now, okay? So seven out of 10. We need to get out of the saddles to get the speed up. Find your rhythm now. I'm gonna be setting into this for 14 minutes, but we'll split it up with that cadence work, as I said. So, four minutes first. Use this time to find your rhythm. Think about it as like, you want to be riding at about the pace you could sustain for around 20 minutes. So, if you were to stay like this for 20 minutes, you'd probably be riding to exhaustion. We're only going for four minutes first up, so you can do it, push on. Feel the heart rate increase. Just be mindful of not overdoing it just yet because the real key work is going to come later. So this is aerobic, aerobic effort right now. So once you've found your rhythm, stay there and get used to it because I want you to just save a little bit for later in the session. Just enjoy being out on the bike. This is a great session for improving all-round cycling ability, climbing, if you like time trialing, or maybe just ride for fun in a group, have a little race for the calf in the middle of the ride. It's a great one for building your fitness and maybe getting one up on your mates. Brilliant one to do during the week as well if you have time after work in the evening. Make sure to drink as well. get fluids in you down and the start of this session because towards the end it's going to be too late. Good tip, a little pinch of salt in the water, make up for any salts lost through sweat. I actually like to put a bit of honey through my biddens as well. 
Okay, two minutes to go. And then we're gonna knock it down one gear and really spin the legs, okay? Really gonna help with our leg speed. So the sort of effort which will kind of help you if you're riding on varying terrain, maybe doing a hard effort out on the road and the road's kind of rolling and you wanna get on top of the gear, maybe pick your speed up over the top of a small drag. It's great for that change of pace, which is pretty synonymous with riding out on the open country roads. All right, as you can tell, you're getting out of breath now. Hold it like that, and because the effort is longer, you really feel the benefit of it towards the end. Coming up to a minute to go before that cadence work. Now, if you are able to monitor your cadence, we're looking for around 110 revs per minute and higher, so basically, as fast as you can spin, okay? Spin those legs. If you need to knock it down two gears, do that. 50 seconds. Hang on, I see you spinning the legs here, okay? I'm gonna do my, my doing well. absolute best. Woo. Doing well, mate, and you're doing well at home. Stay with me. You're gonna feel great after this session. Really gets the endorphins going. Dig in if you're finding it tough at, at times, because it will be worth it. Come on. Right, push on through. Keep the positive vibes going. 20 seconds from now. And then we've got that high cadence work for one minute. Okay, 15 seconds. I'll count you in from five, okay? Whew. Think about what gear you're gonna be in for this cadence. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. Knock it down and high cadence. Spin the legs. Come on, Hank, faster. Really spin the legs. It's as fast as you can sprint. Remember, you're not increasing the tension on the legs. You're just spinning faster. Same intensity, faster leg speed. And you'll feel yourself really start to sweat during this one. Come on. This is it, doing well. Doing well. 30 seconds to go. Come on, stay with me, you're doing really well. Sun to suffer, don't worry. You'll be able to ride at your own comfortable cadence in 20 seconds. Woo. Woo. Keep the upper body still. Focus on your form. 10 seconds to go. And then we're gonna keep the intensity, but our own regular cadence. Three, two, one, and knock it up two gears. Get back into your own natural rhythm, but keep the effort going, okay? Don't ease up. Keep the effort going. Wanna get out of the saddle now, do. It's hard when you up the, up the cadence, isn't it? When you go beyond your comfort zone, it does burn you out a little bit. That's what that's all about. I'll be work wonders for you when you get out on the road. Okay. Worth saying again about mixing up your hand position on your bike, so. If you feel comfortable sitting on the tops, like so, or even on the hoods, or off the, on the drops, using all those different variations will help get through what is a rather tough session. Ooh. Yeah, definitely. Especially when you're riding on an indoor trainer, it's hard to get those moments when you're not pushing on the pedals. You don't have those small bits of rest that you would get on the road. So it is important to mix your position up. Make sure you don't tighten up too much because that will have a negative effect on how hard you can push during the real key parts of this session. Max, how are you doing down there? Yeah, got a bit of a sweat on. Good little spin up there. It's really hard on the, the mind and the legs. Just to like, make sure you don't drop down the gear and start churning it, just keep spinning it. It's definitely mixing it up a little bit. Max, you're a climber. You won a race, a stage race in Turkey this year. How would this session help your climbing ability? Uh, it's those sort of variations in pace. Although the power doesn't change that much, the heart rate definitely increases due to the cadence. Just like it would on a climb. You know, a team usually goes to front, sets the pace, get a few attacks, you have to respond, and then go back down to this pace just below threshold. So it does sort of simulate 
a tough climb. Yeah, definitely. Max, absolutely quality rider. I raced against him myself many times and once the race started going uphill, I didn't see him all that often because he'd be much further ahead of me. So, thanks for joining us, Max. Great to have your insight as well. It's the effort required for a long climb, and as Max said, this is a perfect one for those longer climbs. If you do live near longer climbs, you sometimes find them hard. It's a great way to do a session in a controlled environment, work on your fitness, and that'll really benefit your riding when you head back out on the road. Stay positive now. We're almost halfway through this first kind of ramp. So keep the mind focused, keep working. Don't let your focus drop. This sort of intensive effort is easy to let your mind wander and drop the effort. So sometimes it helps me to knock it up a gear, get out of the saddle, push in a bit, just up the heart rate that bit more. Knock it back down again and find your rhythm. Don't let yourself fall asleep, as we say in cycling. Keep concentrating, keep pushing, because it will benefit you. Come on. Right, we have 40 seconds to go. And then we have some high cadence work. Remember, knock it down one or two gears and spin the legs faster. 30 seconds. You're really starting to feel this first block now. I definitely am. Heart rate's around 165 beats per minute, so it's a solid workout now. 15 seconds, and then down two gears, spin the legs. All right, 10 seconds. Okay, come on. Five seconds, four, three, two, one, and spin the legs. Spin, spin, spin. Come on. Imagine you're going with an acceleration in a race. I just want to stay on top of that gear. Keep the mind focus, the upper body relaxed. If you feel tension in the shoulders, relax. Focus on spinning those legs. So easy to tighten up in your upper body. In your forearms, just relax your shoulders. Keep the legs spinning. Come on, doing well now. 20 seconds, more spinning. Come on, really focus now and spin the legs. The last bit of this out, you'll feel the burn. That's what it's all about. Come on, 10 seconds. Come on. Woo. Five, four, three, two, one. Knock it back up, comfortable cadence. Keep the intensity though. Come on, don't relax. Keep pushing, come on. Keep pushing. Find your rhythm. Find your comfortable rhythm. Get out of the saddle if you need to. You need to ride for a bit at a lower cadence and do, but do not let up on that effort. Dig in. Helps to keep the mind positive. Personally, I always like to distract my mind during the real tough efforts on a bike. Found a few different ways that worked for me. Sometimes I just repeat a mantra in my head, actually. Sometimes I try and distract myself from the pain and think about a desert island or a nice sea, be relaxing it. Anything that can distract you from the pain. But the key is to keep your focus at the same time and not drop your pace. If you can physically stay on track, but mentally detach yourself, and you can really push yourself further. Okay, come on, doing really well, guys. Stay with me. We have under three minutes at this intensity. I'm gonna ramp it up. Squeeze the last little bit out of this ramp, okay? Some solid work now. Think of this last bit, kind of finishing it off. You're coming into the finish line at a race or getting to the end of your ride, even if you're on your own, and you're doing that last little burn up, last little push. Turn up the tunes if you have them in the background or if you like to do a few motivational speeches in your head. I know Hank does. Now's the time. It's all about those positive affirmations. Telling myself I can do it. You can do it. We can do it. Oh, jump aboard the positive train. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. If you're feeling tired, don't associate that with the fact 
that you're falling off the pace, associate with the fact that you're doing really good work and you're pushing through the effort. This is what it's all about. Everyone doing this session is hurting, okay? So stay positive. Come on, we're under two minutes now. You'll feel yourself struggling to maintain conversation now, but don't worry, come on. Keep on pushing. Okay, we've got a minute and a half to go. And we're going to go into three minutes at nine out of 10 intensity. And I want everyone doing this session, including Hank, Max, Emily and Maddie, I want Katie and Maddie, sorry, to think about this three minutes as the last key bit of the ramp and forget about the one minute, okay? The one minute will be a bonus. So really push in this three minutes and then whatever you've got left, we'll get that out in the one minute, okay? But this three minutes, I want our form to stay good. I want to keep our cadence well, around 100 RPM. Keep our shoulders still, upper body still. Engage your core and really work through this three minutes, okay? And then for the last one minute, we can go absolutely bananas. So have some recovery after, okay? Come on, keep going. 40 seconds. And I want you to notch it up one gear or two, okay? Come on. Remember, this is key session of the week, so you can afford to push yourself. 30 seconds to go. Keep the cadence up, keep the gear going. Come on, you'll be suffering, but this will be over soon, we'll have some rest. Five minutes rest after this ramp, okay? 15 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, come on, six, five, come on everyone. Three, two, one, change up, come on. Come on, get on top of the gear. Get on top of the gear, get the cadence up, and push, okay? Come on, push. Keep pushing. Hey, this is where it really burns. Keep positive, though. This is definitely the hardest part of the session, so don't get yourself down if you're really suffering. How are you feeling, Hank? Oh, I'm struggling, mate. Come on, mate. I'm digging in. Oh, I'm focusing on your voice. Can't look at the screen anymore now. I'm just listening to you to tell me when this is over. Oh. Come on. Head down, I'll tell you. I'll tell you when. We're inside two minutes now. Just coming up to inside two minutes. Keep the mind positive. Keep pushing. Come on. If you have any upcoming goals, Visualize them. Visualize how you're going to complete them, how, it's, how you're going to make it a success, because this is the groundwork for it. This is where you'll suffer and you'll make any of your aims come true. So use that as your motivation. It might be a local climb, it might be a sportive, a race, maybe it's just riding further than you have before. This is great for building your aerobic base. Push on through. Inside, 90 seconds. Come on, keep working now. Keep working. Push, push, push. If you're able, take a little sip of water. Come on, everyone's doing absolutely amazing. Commit to the session. Commit to the session. Come on, work harder. Come on. Inside a minute now. Come on, come on. Push to the end of this one. Push to the end, come on. Whew. Doing so well to stay with me to this point. Come on, keep pushing, you're doing well. 40 seconds to go from now. Don't drop your pace. Don't drop the gear. Okay, coming up, 30 seconds to go. Come on. This is where your mind will play tricks on you. You'll start thinking you can't do it, but you can. You can, okay, so stay mentally positive. Push on, come on. 15 seconds to go, okay? All right. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. And you're gonna push up through the gears. One minute, flat out, okay, come on. One second, come on. 
Now flat out, outside, in the saddle. Push, push, push. Burn. Come on. Every last drop. Every last drop, get to the line. If you can spin faster, do it. If you can knock it down, spin. Then do it. Keep your upper body solid. And push. You need to give it everything you got. 10 out of 10. 30 seconds, come on. This is where you build your dreams. Ah, come on. 20 seconds. Push on, Meeble. 15 seconds. Give me what you've got. Come on. To the end now. 10 seconds. Out of the saddle. Push, 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 push. Five. Come on. Fight for it. Three, two, one. Easy. And recover. Knock it right down. Oh, huh. fantastic effort. Fantastic effort, everyone. Huh. Take a moment. Get on top of your breathing. Whew. Whew. If you need to stop pedaling for a little bit, then do. Just keep the legs spinning a little bit. I'm going to give you another 20 seconds. Do what you want. Find your recovery. Find your breath. And I'm going to start pedaling again. Nice, easy. Okay, come on now. Start pedaling again. Now, nice and easy. You've got four minutes, three out of 10 effort, okay? So kind of like your warm up pace. Settle back down into this. Try and bring your heart rate down and recover a little bit because we have three real key parts to this session. As I said, it's one of the longer sessions you can do. It's a key session in the week. We've already done really great work there. Really laid down some solid stress and fatigue throughout the session. Now, we're gonna do what I call ringing it out and doing some high intensity bursts whilst your body is already under stress. Get more bang for your buck. It's gonna hurt, but that's why we love it, isn't it? Got to think positive on it. Got to have a laugh with it. What do you reckon, Hank? Mate, this is all about type two fun, isn't it? Really hard, max efforts, but don't you feel great after it? All those endorphins come flooding back. I hope you're enjoying Connor's, uh, what, your kind of drive. I'm really enjoying it. I'm using your motivation just to power on through, especially when it comes to the end of those minutes, because those minutes are hard. You do need to pace them a little bit, but just try and go all the way to the end. I'm struggling, we're struggling, Connor's struggling, and I hope you guys are struggling at home, but not long left from the session. Oh, I'm feeling it though, mate. Really, I am. Gonna be honest. I Good. thought I was superhuman, but well, now I know I'm definitely not. You're superhuman to me, Hank. You're doing well. Oh, and that's <laughs> why I love you. <laughs> Everyone else is at home as well. Come on. <laughs> now, you've had a good bit of recovery. You've allowed your heart rate to decrease. Relax for a little bit. Super solid ramp session there. Now, we're coming up to two minutes to go with this easy period. And then we're going to do some really, really solid work. So we're going to start off with a minute, full gas, high cadence, full on seated through the effort. We're gonna have three minutes recovery. Then we're gonna do the same again, another one minute, full gas. Except the recovery period after that, it's gonna be less, it's only gonna be one minute long. And then we're gonna do one more, one minute, full gas effort, which is gonna test yourself to the limit. It's gonna test me, it's gonna test Hank, it's Max, it's gonna test Katie, and it's gonna test Maddie at the back. I want everyone to finish it off as best they can. So, come on. Time to psych yourself up for it now. Only 10 minutes of the session to go, it's flown by. Come on, under a minute and a half to go. You should start to feel your legs relax a bit, pedaling easy if you want to, up the pace a little bit, just to make sure your legs haven't cooled down. The blood's still going, your heart rate's still there, so you're not starting this sprint totally on empty. Helps if you can get the heart rate going. Keep the blood flowing to the muscles. Keep yourself warm. And we're coming up to a minute to go. So, 
Start to think about what gear you want to be in for this effort. This is going to be a full effort, so big ring if you can. Start off at the top of the block in an easier gear. And as the minute progresses, and go down through the block. So you're going to click up through the gears. So start easy, progress through the sprint. It's going to hurt from the gun. You're going to push through it, push to the end, get everything you have out of you. This is it now. Three of these, three one minute full gas efforts with decreasing recovery between each. Okay. 15 seconds to go. Get ready. Here we come. Right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And come on. Come on. Sprint. High cadence. Sprint. And click up through the gears. Come on. Push on. Push on. Push on. And one more gear if you can. Okay. Come on. Push, 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 push. Push. Come on, Hank, stay on top of that gear, come on. Pass it into the red. Feel the burn. Kick up through the gears. Save yourself one more gear. The 15 seconds to go to really ring out the effort. Come on. This will hurt any rider. You can do it. Stay with me. Right. Click up the gears, 15 seconds to go. And full gas to the end. Push everything you've got, everything. 10 seconds. Ah, five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Ah, amazing effort, guys. Amazing effort. Now we have three minutes easy now. Ooh. I think that nearly killed me. Woo. Come on, Hank, you're doing well. Thanks, mate. Everyone's doing super well. Thanks for joining us. Stay with us. Seven and a half minutes to go. Only two one minute full gas efforts left. Then a cool down. This is where you make it count, okay? You've put the work in to get to this point. So finish it off. Make sure you complete these one minute efforts with all you've got. Try and keep the cadence high, but if you're suffering, don't worry about that. Just try and push through the minute at a maximal effort. I'm talking full gas. Go as hard as you can until 30 seconds, then just try and hold it if you want. If you want to break it up like that. Either way, this is one of the hardest efforts you can do on a bike, if I'm honest. So, as I said, two to go, and then easy, and then make sure you have a recovery day tomorrow. Let this work all soak in. I'm going to need it. Yeah. <laughs> Hank's going to be having a coffee on the sofa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to ring him and take him for a ride. <laughs> right, one minute 40 to go. That hat slipping the one from the top of your head. <laughs> <laughs> right, time to get rid of the hat, I think. <laughs> is it? <laughs> the hat is absolutely soaking. <laughs> ring it out. Yeah. Is your hat soaking? Mate, my hat is... Is Ring dripping. It's dripping. It's dripping. I hope your hat's dripping at home. <laughs> we'll see if we can send you hat stripping hat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Let's concentrate now because we're coming up to a minute to go before another one minute full gas effort. So get yourself in the right mindset. You ready, Katie? Focus. I'm not. Come on, let's do it, guys. Last two minutes. Well, one minute, a minute after. But. <laughs> Don't want to confuse you. 50 seconds to go. Okay, start thinking about the gear you're going to be in. I'm going to try and increase your cadence, make sure your heart rate hasn't dropped too much. Then we've only got a minute recovery after this, okay? This is going to be the key part of the session. This is it. The piece, the resistance. Inside 30 seconds, right. Into the big gear. Down the block in easy gear. Come on now. High cadence if you can. If not, just drive it through the minute. So, 10 seconds to go. All right, here we go. We're looking for everything you got. Three, two, 
One. Come on. Up the cadence. Up the cadence. Come on. Up, 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 up. Up on gear. Come on, push through it. One. Change up the gear, Hank. I don't know if I can. Come on, push then. Ah. Give me everything you got through the minute. Come on. Keep on driving. Run. Hop, 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 hop. This is it. Everything you got. Don't lose focus. Up on gear if you can. Push, push, push. Out of the saddle if it helps. Come on now, come on. 15 seconds to go. Here we are. 10 seconds. Empty it. Full gas. Five, four, three, two, one. Recover. Woo. Keep pedaling. Keep the legs turning. Feel like a slave driver. Keep the legs turning, Hank. Oh. Keep it going. Don't let, let up now. You'll be really suffering. I am. But only one effort to go. Come on. 43 seconds. 40 seconds to go, and then we're going to start our last one minute full gas effort. Oh. This is it. And we've completed a 40 minute session. Are you ready? Okay. Come on now. It's all over after this. 500 watts. All over after this. Right. Think about your gear. We've got 18 seconds to go. In the big ring if you can. Okay, this is going to hurt, guys, but Whoa. last one. Just do it. 10 seconds to go. Come on. Come on. Rave yourself up. Come Think on. positive. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. And push. Come on. Come on. Start out strong and just go. This is it. Last one. Last one, Han. Huh? Push, 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 push. Come on, Hank. Come on, keep the form, keep the form, keep the cadence. Up it if you can, up it if you can. Up the cadence, up one gear. Everything to the line. It'll be over soon, come on. Don't lose focus now. Keep on driving. Out the saddle, push. Come on, come on. Last one, 20 seconds. Come on, imagine someone's trying to get past you. You don't want to let them, you don't want to let them get past. So push, come on, come on. You can do it, 10 seconds. Five, five, four, three, two, one. And oh. Amazing effort. Amazing effort. Keep the legs turning. Just keep them spinning a little bit. Woo. Well done, everyone. Take a moment. Take a moment. You have me. Sip of water if you can. Oh, that was absolutely amazing stuff if you stayed with us until now. We have Hank on the absolute floor, so. Don't worry, we're all suffering here. Hank, how's the hat? Mate, this is the sweatiest been. Sweatiest it's been. How'd you find the Look session? Look at that. Absolutely dripping, team. Dripping. Good session work. was fantastic. Really it was, but I'm gonna need a rest day after this. Yeah, definitely. Take it easy after this session. Everyone, thanks for joining us. Our guest riders, thanks for riding along with us. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Let us know how you found the session in the comments section below. It's been an absolute pleasure. And as I said, get some recovery in tomorrow. Get some fluids down you after this session. Woo. I tell you what, feeling after that, Absolute sterling oh, effort, yeah, everyone. I know, Go but I just, I, just, I just need to lie down. No, no. <laughs> See, he's done amazing to join us until now. Look at Hank, you can stay to him. I'm dead. Did not finish. Signed out. He takes Signed a soul out. on every rider. Signed out. Even the best Signed ones. out. Oh, right, everyone. Thanks for watching. It's been a pleasure. See you all soon.
Ah. <sighs>